Hi everyone, this is Alan from IJF Academy. Welcome to an online training session. Today we're going to work through a few things that you can do with the ball at home. Okay, so the structure of the session will be as follows. We'll start with some ball mastery, which we'll, we will double up as our warm up as well. Okay, so we'll spend four or five minutes on a ball mastery task. And with each one we'll have a practice and then I'll also set you a challenge to do at home. Okay, after we've done some ball mastery work, we're going to do a bit of dribbling work. Okay, so I have two dribbling practices for you, and again, we'll practice and then I'll set you a challenge. Okay, for today, you are going to need a ball, of course. You're going to need, I've got some cones, but you can use whatever you can find at your house. Okay, I don't know, you might have some shoes or socks. Whatever you can find to dribble around, that's what we're going to use, as long as it's safe to, to, uh, to do so. So, I only need six. Okay, now you might have six socks, six water bottles, I don't know, whatever's safe for you to use. And you also need your water. It's extremely hot at the moment. Okay, and you need a safe space. Okay, I'm really lucky I've got this lovely grass area to use. Okay. You need to find a nice safe space at home. So, for the first part, ball mastery. You don't need to set anything up, you just need a safe space, you and the ball, okay? We're gonna do something really simple that you probably have done before, okay? But hopefully we can develop that skill a little bit more in the next few minutes. So, toe taps, okay? Now I'm just gonna stand here so you can see the full screen, okay? Or see me within the screen. Okay, and toe taps are really, really simple. You just tap the top of the ball with the bottom of your toes, okay? Just like that, all right? So, as I said earlier, we're gonna practice and then I'll set you a challenge. So I don't want you to go too hard just yet. You can just go with me. I'm just stepping, changing my feet, tapping the top of the ball with the bottom of my feet, okay? Really simple. I might just move around a little bit, forwards, backwards, but I'm still doing exactly the same thing. Just tapping the ball with the bottom of my feet. Okay? Now, I'm pretty sure you can all do that quite comfortably. So let's move it on a little bit, all right? Rather than just stepping and swapping feet, we're now gonna have a little jump, okay? Just a little jump, just to swap feet. And we don't have to go too quick just yet. Remember, this is just a practice. Okay, so just jump, swap feet, swap feet. Okay, now if you notice what I've done with my arms, is I've started to, to coordinate that with my movement, um, the movement of my feet. Okay? So as if I'm running, the same movements you would do when you're running, we're doing now. Just jumping, swapping feet, touching the top of the ball with the bottom of my toes. Okay? And again, I might try and move around. Okay, easy. So if you need a little bit more time to practice that, feel free to do so, okay? Really simple stuff. You're just touching the top of the ball with the bottom of your toes and alternating your feet. All right, we're gonna have one practice at going quite fast, and then I'm gonna set you a challenge, okay? So, when we go fast, a few things we need to think about, all right? First of all, we need to make sure that we're pumping our arms just like we're running, okay? Second thing, we need to be moving fast. And the third thing, all right, a pro tip, you need to keep your head up. Because when we start to move with the ball, having your head up will really help you to see where you're going. Quite important, okay? So let's spend the next 10 seconds or so going as fast as we can. So head up pump my arms, move my feet nice and quick, and I'm just nice and light on my toes.
Okay, good work. Get a little drink, and then we're gonna go into the challenge. We're gonna do the challenge two times. It's a really simple challenge, okay? You have 20 seconds to do as many toe taps as you can. Now I'll do the time, you will perform, and then I'll tell you when the 20 seconds are up, okay? We'll have a little drinks break, and then we'll repeat it and try and beat our score. I'll do the challenge first, all right? I've got my watch. 20 seconds, so your challenge is can you beat me? It's not your turn yet, just watch me and then you can go. 20 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 59, 20 seconds up, 59, I'm impressed with that, I didn't think I'd get anywhere near 59, Whew. hey you've got a right task on your hands now, that's a good score, okay, now it's your turn, so get your ball, find a safe space, I will do the time, okay, are you ready? I'll count down from three, and then you go. So, three, two, one, go. 20 seconds. Okay, really push yourself nice and quick. Drive those arms, keep your head up, nice and light on your feet. Come on, push yourself halfway. Go, 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 go. Go, five seconds left, keep going. Two, one, stop. Well done. Come and get some water. Drink. Let me know your scores. Send your scores in so I can see how you did. Did anyone beat me? 59. Okay, just whilst you're having a, br a drink, I'm just gonna remind you of the technique. Okay? So, nice and light on your feet. You don't want big steps. You wanna be really, really light, okay? Tapping the ball, top of the ball with the bottom of your toes. So it's a really light, quick movement. You're pumping your arms to help generate some force. And you're keeping that head up to develop good habits. Okay, so it should look like this. Right, round two. Get yourself set up. Again, I'll count you down from three, and then it's over to you. So, get ready. Three, two, one, go. 20 seconds. Come on, push those arms. Nice and light on your feet. Head up. Good habits, come on. Halfway, keep going. Push. Go, go, go. You're nearly there. Nearly there, and stop. Fantastic. Great work. Well done. Again, let me know your scores. Did you beat your score? Okay. Come and get a drink. Drink some water. Well done. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to talk you through the next practice. So hopefully you're all feeling nice and warm and you should have had at least 200 touches of the wall. Okay, so we're gonna do some dribbling. And this is when you're going to need your six cones. All right, so. Six cones, and you also need enough space to be able to do six steps. So if I put one cone here, one, two, three, four, Five, five steps, sorry, yeah. Okay. So you should have a little bit of a slalom now. 
So what you're going to do, we're going to work through the cones. So a bit like a snake dribbling in and out of the cones. Okay. But again, we're going to work on having quick feet. So we're going to continue on from what we've just done with regards to quick feet. A few things I need you to focus on. Small touches. Okay. We haven't got a lot of space. I certainly don't have a lot of space. I'm guessing you don't as well. So we must keep that ball under control. Okay. We also must be using both feet. Let's make sure we're developing ourselves, okay, and we're comfortable using both feet. Again, we need to be nice and light on our feet, okay, so we can move quickly and develop good habits of keeping our head up, yeah? So, really simple. We're just going to practice first. We're just going to dribble through. So, just through the cones. Just going to dribble through, developing those techniques. So nice and light on our feet. Head up. Okay, get to the end. Turn around. And I'm just going to do it again. Okay, so you should be doing that now at home. Just working through those cones backwards and forwards, in and out, keeping that ball nice and close. Good close control, okay? Keep your head up, nice and light on your feet. Working on both feet as well, okay? So just have a few practice goes. Dribble your way through those cones using any parts of your feet you want, any pattern any dribbling style, as long as you're working the ball through those cones using both feet, I'm happy for the moment. Okay? So, I'll show you what I would like next. We're gonna have a bit of a pattern. I'll get my ball. So, we're gonna use the outside of our feet to push the ball through the gap, and then the inside to stop it. And then I use the other foot Outside to push it through, inside to stop. Outside to push through, inside to stop. Okay, so we're alternating our feet. We're always going outside, inside, outside, inside. Okay, so when you're ready, let's have a little practice at that. We don't need to go too quick yet. It's not the challenge. Really focus on your technique and your ability to manipulate the ball. Okay, let's have a go. So, outside, inside, swap. Okay, can we keep our head up? And again. get nice and low okay we're not standing up really high we're getting nice and low but we're still keeping that head up okay good work get yourself a drink So the next time we're going to do it, we're still practicing, but we're going to push ourselves a little bit more and try and do it with some more speed, okay? So a bit faster this time. It's not the challenge yet. I'm not timing you just yet, okay? So we're trying to push ourselves, building up towards that challenge. Same technique, outside, inside, outside, inside, and so on, okay? Are you ready? Let's go and do it. Can we move a bit faster? Same technique, nice and light on my feet, head up, outside, inside. I'm just trying to be a bit quicker now. Get 
down nice and low. You're going to bend those knees when you're changing direction. Look how low I get when I change direction. Okay. Good work. Right. Let's get another drink and then we'll go into the challenge. So I think we'll do the challenge two times, like we did before. Let's see if we can beat ourselves, all right? So now, I'm going to give you 30 seconds. So you've got a little bit longer than last time, which means you're gonna to have to concentrate a little bit longer. Okay, we've got 30 seconds to work up and back down your ladders as many times as you can. Now if you go across, that's one. Come back, two, three, four. So how many times can you complete the length of your ladder? Okay, all you have to do, in and out, in and out, in and out, get to the end, stop, turn around, straight back. 30 seconds. Okay, I'll do it first and then it's over to you. So watch me, how quick can I be? How many can I get? 30 seconds timer starts now. That's one. Come on, watch. Five seconds. Can I finish it? Yes. Woo. So, five times. I did it in five. I'm pretty sure some of you back home can do it a bit quicker than me. Okay, so, go and get yourselves ready. You need your ball at the end, and you need yourselves ready to go. I'll count you, count you down and I'll keep the timer. So, three seconds. Three, two, one, go. Off you go. Work through those cones, inside, outside, alternating your feet, okay? Nice and quick. Pump your arms like we did before. Nice and light on your toes. Keep your head up. Come on, keep going. You're over halfway. 10 seconds. Remember, when you change direction, get nice and low, bend your knees. Five seconds, come on. Three, two, one. Fantastic. Come and get a drink. Good work. So you can have another go in just a moment. Have a rest, drink some water. I'm just gonna get my ball. Okay, so just a little bit of advice. When you're changing direction, so you've gone outside, inside to stop, and then this leg's gonna come across. Get nice and low, so you're going across. Okay, and the same. So when you're changing direction, nice and low. Okay? Should be really, really nice, quick movement. So, get yourself ready. Round two, can you beat it? Okay, remember, my score's five. So if you've got five as well, fantastic. But can you aim for six? Because if you get six, that's one every five seconds. That's pretty impressive. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one, go. Come on, quick. Work those feet, side to side. Inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside. Nice and low. Drive those arms, keep your head up. Got to work quick. You're halfway, you should have completed your third one. On to your fourth. Come on, keep going. 10 seconds left, can you get two more? Up and back down. Come on, go, go, go. Nice and light on those feet. Last one, two, one, and rest. 30 seconds over, fantastic. Come and sit down, take a drink. 
write your scores in. Let me know your scores. Did you manage to beat me? Yep, yeah, drink some water. Now, whilst you're having a drink, just listen to the explanation for the next one. So, we're going to use the same area, so the same distance, but now we're going to take some of the cones out from the middle. We actually only need three cones, okay? So, need one at each end and one in the middle. I'm going to set that up, just have a look at how I do it whilst you're getting a drink, and then you can go and do it in a moment. I'm going to take all of the middle cones out and I'm going to put one exactly in the middle. Okay? Happy with that. Now we only need three cones, yeah? So can you see that? One, two, three. Right. Figure of eight dribbling. Now because the cones aren't so close together, that means we can have a little bit of a bigger touch and we'll be able to move a little bit faster, okay? Your body will still be working really hard, but in terms of the speeds we can physically move, we should be able to move a bit faster, as long as we keep that ball under control, okay? Remember, we don't have a lot of space, so it's really important we focus on that, okay? Practice. All you're gonna do is just dribble around the cones, like a figure of eight, okay? Start at one end, and you're just going to dribble through, using four feet, go around this time, so we're not stopping at the end, we're just going around, and you're just going to keep going, so just move with that ball. Okay, so if you haven't already done that, go and set it up, and as soon as you're ready, let's have practice. I just want you moving through those cones in a figure of eight, using a little bit of a bigger touch and trying to de develop your speed, okay? I'm just trying to go a little bit faster than I was before. So, simple, you understand that. Yeah, quite a basic exercise, but we're gonna really focus on the detail. So, I've already mentioned, we can move a little bit faster now because there's not as many cones and the spaces are slightly bigger, all right? This is what I'd like to see. When you're going around the cone at the end, it's gotta be really small, tight, close touches. As soon as you get around the end, you then have an opportunity to do a bigger touch. Okay, so using the laces of your foot, I want to see that bigger touch take you to at least the middle cone. Okay, and then you'll probably slow your touches down or close them up a bit in preparation for going around the, the end again. Okay, so now we can start to look at a bit of acceleration and a bigger touch out of our feet. There's some great, great players that do it. I know Cristiano, Gareth Bale. A big part of their game is that touch out of their feet and their acceleration, okay? Now I know we can't hit top speeds in the small space, but we can certainly work on that first part, that initial burst, okay? Especially with the ball. So, I'm sure you're going this way. Small tight touches around the end, then I'm around the end, I can burst towards the middle, I'm gonna use my lace, push the ball out, and then slow my touches down again. So I go around, quick touch, slow them down. Quick touch, slow them down. Quick touch, slow them down. Okay, so off you go. That big touch should really take you to the middle of the, of the cone. This cycle cone here, your big touch should take you here. And then you can slow up, get control of your ball again, ready to come back around the end and you get some power in that initial burst as well, okay? And again, go both sides, you can use both feet, big touch, little touches. 
Big touch. Little touch. Okay, good work. Make sure you're using both feet, okay? So you might have to just swap the side that you're working around so you can work on both feet. It's important we do that, all right? So just a few things to remember when we're doing this exercise. Little touches around the end. Keep that ball really close and have some really close control going around the end of the cone. As soon as you've done your turn around the cone, you've got space to accelerate into, okay? So I want a bigger touch using the laces of your feet, okay? And you're driving towards that middle cone. Once you reach the middle cone, you can really slow back down and have your little touches again because you, you know you're gonna go around the end cone as well, okay? So it's almost like dribbling past one defender, accelerating into the space, and then approaching another defender to dribble around him, okay? Right, let's have a few more practices using both feet, and then I'll set you a challenge. Okay, good work. I think we're ready for the challenge. So let's get some water first. Okay, 30 second challenge. Same as before. I will time it. Okay, so I'll do it first. Yeah, you can watch me, see what score I get, and then it's over to you. Can you beat my score? And then you'll do it twice. So the second time, can you beat your first score? Okay? So just watch me first, have a drink. Okay, make sure you're looking at my technique. Okay, I'm starting in three, two, one. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Same rules as before. Every time you complete one, no, let's change it. Every time you get back to the start, that's one. Okay, so you've got to go all the way up, all the way back to complete one. Yeah? So, I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. Bigger touch, smaller touches. Bigger touch, smaller touches. And that's it. Oh, I lost count. I think it was five or six. I think it was five or six. Let's say five, just to be safe. Okay, so if I did it in five, I got five completed attempts in 30 seconds. I want you to be matching that, if not beating it. Okay, so your turn, go and get ready. I'll count you down. Okay, oh, hopefully you're ready now. In your start positions, remember, accelerate that big touch to start with. You have to get all the way to the end and back to complete one rep. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. 30 seconds, come on. Move your feet nice and quick. Tighten your touches up around the end and then accelerate out, burst out. Beat that defender and accelerate away. Come on. You're halfway now. Keep going, fast, fast, fast. Nice and light on those feet. Okay, use your arms to generate some power, some speed. Last five seconds, can you get another one? Come on. 
and relax. Fantastic work. Come and drink. Come and drink. Great work, everyone. Again, I want to know your scores. What did you get? Let me know. Send your scores in. Okay, did you beat me? If you did, maybe I need some more practice. Might stay behind after this and do some more. Whew. Okay, just whilst you're getting a, a rest and, and some water, remember that big touch out of your feet. You're driving towards the middle cone. It's really important. That's going to save you some time. Okay, and then you have to really close down your touches, shorten them down when you go around the end. If you take big touches around the end, you're going to end up doing a really big circle. It needs to be a little tight turn and then accelerate away. Okay? Right. Let's get this second round done. Okay, I'll show you once more. Start at the end. Okay? Accelerate out. Then slow your touches up. Around, tight touches. Accelerate out. Tight touches again. That is one. How many can you get? Okay, go and get ready. I'll count you down. In, oh, this is a uh, reset itself. Okay, three, two, one, go. Come on, quick. Work through those cones, nice and quick. So accelerate out, slow down, quick around the turn and then back, okay? That bigger touch into the middle and then those tighter touches around the end. Okay, come on, nice and light on your feet. Bend your knees, get some power. You've got five seconds left. Can you get another one? Come on, come on, keep going. Can you get another one? Time's up, brilliant. Come and sit down, come and sit down. Great effort. Again, let me know your scores. Did you beat your own score? Did you beat my score? Okay, Whew. great effort today. Right, we're gonna stop it there. But with these things, you need to get really creative at home, okay? So I can show you a few exercises, but I bet you can think of some progressions and some variations that you can make up and come up with yourself. So you don't have to stop now. You can continue practicing. If you come up with your new exercise or a new practice, let me know, show me it. Okay, and then maybe we can do another one of these videos using your exercise or your practice, okay? But remember, make sure you're drinking plenty of water. It's extremely hot, okay? Make sure you're always doing it in a safe space. And when you are practicing, make sure you work super, super hard, okay? Because we've missed so much football through the lockdown. Doing it in your garden or at home is gonna add a load of value and help prepare you for when you go back to training, okay? Well done, everybody. Stay safe at home and I'll see you next time.